Welcome to Vatican Six. I'm your host, Titan. Let's get to it. Latest in the death of a man in Memphis after a traffic stop with police. All five officers involved have now been fired. Our senior national correspondent, Steve Osinsame, joins us now with the latest. Good morning, Steve. Good morning to you, Lindsay. The family of Tyree Nichols is meeting with Memphis police today and getting their first look at the police video that shows how their son was beaten before he was hospitalized. He died from his injuries just a few days later. We're not sure when police will publicly release the video, but prosecutors say they're not going to do it before it's at the point where it jeopardizes is what they're doing. This weekend, Memphis police finally identified and then fired the five police officers involved in the incident who in this case happened to all be African-American. Nichols was pulled over by police January 7th. Police say there was a confrontation that he then ran from police and that there was another confrontation. This was the point where they say he complained that he had trouble breathing. His family has been sharing this hospital bedside photo before the young man died, asking what type of confrontation after a traffic stop could have led to these kind of injuries. Police say the five officers who were fired used excessive force and failed in their duty to render aid. The district attorney is looking into this case, and so is the U.S. Department of Justice. Guys. This picture is difficult to look at this morning. Steve Osasami for us there. Thank you. The traffic stop that led to Tyree Nichols' death. Let's talk about a person being innocent and to proven guilty. As the public, we form our conclusions based on common sense and our general understanding of the law. We decide whether a person is guilty or innocent while disregarding the legalities and legal consequences, a.k.a. being sued. The Tyree Nichols case is another one of those examples. I have my personal feelings, but the words suspected of, alleged, or accused must come into use. Let's begin. On or about January the 7th at approximately 8.30 p.m., five MPD police officers are accused of beating Nichols after a traffic stop for reckless driving. According to MPD, a conversation ensued and Nichols fled from officers on foot. Once officers caught Nichols, a second altercation occurred during Nichols' arrest. At some point, Nichols sustained injuries from the arrest. Tyree Nichols died three days later of injuries suffered during his arrest. The MPD officers used unmarked cars during a traffic stop involving Nichols. Now for my personal opinion. If guilty, this is bully and gang mentality. Most, if not all of the officers would never perform such actions in their personal lives. The protection a badge and guns provides shows a police officer's true character for the good or the bad. The officers being fired and no longer on administrative leave should tell you the nature, the graphic nature of the soon to be released body cam footage and of their actions. This is Vatican Six. I'm your host Titan. Thank you for watching and I'm gone.